Welcome to the demo video of our Depth Dashboard Spreadsheet. The Depth Dashboard Spreadsheet contains four tabs. A Start tab, where you'll enter all your information. A Month tab, so you can easily see a monthly overview and a breakdown of each debt, including how much you need to pay, how much you've paid, how much there's left to pay, and what the balance will be at the end of the month. A Log tab, to add all your transactions. And a Payment schedule, where you find a breakdown of all your debts. Before you do anything else, we recommend heading to the Start tab to enter in all your information. We try to make the setup as easy as possible by breaking it down in four steps. In the first step, you can change your currency. To change your currency, all you have to do is double-click on the field, hit the backspace button on your keyboard, and replace it with a currency sign or abbreviation of your own. For example, when you enter the euro sign here, it will update everywhere else in the spreadsheet, including your payment schedule, your log tab, your month tab, and of course the start tab. In step two, you'll change your start date. This is the date you're planning on starting to paying off your debt. To change the date, simply double click on the field and use the calendar to pick your own start date. In step three, you'll enter your debt information. In total, you can add up to 50 debts. You don't need to add them in any specific order. For every single debt, make sure you enter a name, the balance, the minimum payment, and the interest rate. Now let's fill in some fictional information so we can have a better look and better idea of how the spreadsheet actually works. Once you've entered all your debt information, scroll down to the last step, step number four. Now that we've entered all our information, we can see that we pay a total minimum monthly payment of $1,045 every single month. If you have more money available in your monthly budget that you could put towards your debts every single month, you can add a monthly extra here. For example, let's say every single month you have $15 that you can put towards your debt, you can add the extra $455 here. Now the last thing you'll need to do is pick a debt payoff method. This debt payoff dashboard allows you to pick the between a debt snowball method, where you pay off the smallest debts first, or the debt avalanche method, where you pay off debts with the highest interest rate first. When you switch between these two, make sure to give it a couple of seconds as the spreadsheet is calculating the debt payoff plan for sometimes up to 50 debts, so it can take a second to load. But if you switch between these two, you can see exactly when you'll be debt free and what the amount of interest will be for each of the methods. So for example, when we use the debt snowball method, we'll be debt free in January 2026 after 40 months, and we pay a total interest of $4,656. Now, if we select the debt avalanche method, we can see that we will be debt-free in December 2025 and then we end up paying a total interest of $3,674. Now there's no specific right or wrong between which debt payoff method you need to choose, you just need to select which one works best for you. Now with the debt snowball method selected, let's have a better look at our payment schedule. When we have a look at our payment schedule, we'll be able to find a breakdown of each debt here. For every single debt, you'll be able to see the payment per month, the balance at the end of the month, and you'll also be able to see when this debt will be paid off. Now you can scroll all the way to the right so you can see a breakdown of each and every single debt here. On the left hand side of this tab you'll be able to see a breakdown of your planned payments for every single month as well as a little overview. Basically in your planned payment section you can see how much you're planning to pay in total for each and every single month. Now this plan section also allows you to increase or decrease your planned payments. So for example, let's say that in December 2022, due to the holiday season, you don't have as much money available, so you would like to pay a little bit less towards your debts. For example, if you want to pay $250 less because you might need it somewhere else, you just enter minus 250 here. When you enter minus 250 here, you'll see that everywhere else in the spreadsheet, the planned payment as well as the actual payment and the payments here will update. Now, you can of course also increase the amount. So let's say for example, in December you expect a bonus and you would like to pay off an extra $1,000 towards your debt. Now simply add $1,000 here. You'll see that it takes a couple seconds to update, but now you can see that your planned payments is updated to $2,500 and that also your payments and your balances have now updated. In the right hand side, you'll be able to see an actual section as well as your balance. Basically, your actual section will update if you log any transactions that are higher than the planned amount. You can see instead of how much you plan to pay towards your debt, how much you actually ended up putting towards your debt. 
This will only update if the amount is actually higher than the planned payments were. Lastly, you'll also be able to see the total balance at the end of each month here. Now, the next step we're going to have a better look at is our month tab. Because if you enter up to 50 debts, it can actually get quite confusing to have to look through every single like payment and debt breakdown here, what you need to pay towards each and every single debt. For that reason, we have created a month tab. Now, the month tab was created so you don't have to scroll through your payment schedule and you can easily see what you need to pay towards each and every single debt for that month. Now, for example, if you start paying off your debt in September 2022, you can see your planned payments for every single debt over here. You'll also be able to see how much you've paid towards every single debt, how much is left to pay, and what the balance will be after you've made that payment. So, for example, we can see that after we have made a payment of $450 towards debt number three, that the balance will actually be zero and that this debt will be paid off at the end of the month. Now, it's currently December, so if we head back down to December and 2022, we can now see that debt number three and debt number two are actually paid off. And then after we make a payment of $392.07 towards debt number five, that also this balance will be zero and that, and that three of our 11 debts will actually be paid off at the end of this month already. Now, we have set up the spreadsheet in a way that you can make multiple payments towards each debt throughout the month. Now, this way, if you would like to make weekly payments or bi-weekly payments, you can see exactly how much you've paid and you can also see exactly what there's left to pay. This way, you can be sure that you never miss a payment again. You can be sure that you don't have to write down on a little paper, like how much there's left to pay or how much payments you've made or which payments there's still left. You'll all be able to see this in this easy to use overview. Now, all you have to do to update this page section is to go to the log tab. So for example, it's now December and you want to make that payment of $392.07. Now let's head over to the log tab and we type in, it's the 1st of December, $392.07 and we pay that towards debt number five. Now when we go to the month tab, we can see that there's nothing left to pay. So for example, when we look at debt number seven, we can see that we need to pay $100 this month. Now let's say we go to the log tab. And at the beginning of December, we pay $50 towards debt number seven. Now, when we go to the month tab, we can see that we have paid $50 and that there's still $50 left to pay. Now, having a log tab and logging our payments through the log tab will allow us to pay more towards any debt at any single time. So let's say, for example, you have a little bit of extra money and instead of paying just $100 towards this debt, you would like to pay $250. So now when we go to the log tab, we enter in our information, we enter in $200 towards step number seven. Now, when we go to our month tab, we can see that our information, it sometimes can take a couple of seconds, we'll update. It will now show that we have paid $250 and that there's minus $150 left to pay. It shows minus $150 because we actually paid more than what we were planning on. Now, when we go to our, our payment schedule, and we scroll down to debt number seven, we can see that this $100 has been replaced by $250. We can also see here that their actual is now higher than the plans that we actually had filled in. We can see that the balance and all other calculations have been updated as well. Basically this way, if for any reason you like to pay off another debt sooner, for example, because you're using the debt avalanche method, you would like to just get rid of a small debt, you can just make higher payments towards any debt in any given time. And that is basically it. That's how the debt dashboard works. If you have any other questions, I'll be sure to leave some contact information in the description box down below. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.